Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Hey guys, this is H Tom Kick Seven One Three coming with a new review of the Nike Trainer Five Version Five. The official colorway of the shoe is a photo blue in Volt. Actually, the colorway here, if I look at it closely, kind of reminds me of the LeBron 11 Sprites. So I could actually nickname these the Free Sprites, if you wish. So this uh, trainer free shoe is part of the free model lineup of the Nike Freeze. And if you're not familiar with the free lineup shoe, the, the whole theory behind the shoe is really to give a shoe that provides a, kind of the barefoot type of design and feel, but still giving cushioning um, and support for a shoe. And if you look here on the uh, side of the shoe, it has the number 5. If some of you don't know, there's a scale of from like 0 to 10. With 0, zero kind of being close to uh, barefoot, where 10 is more of the, like, the, the, probably the most comfortable type shoe. And so this one's right down in the middle. So you'll have that feel in terms of like, uh, have that barefoot feel. And of course the key of this is, um, in the flex, is, is the ability of this thing for the flex all the way. To have that free range of motion like a barefoot would do. So five, like I said, is right in the middle and they make a, a three and a four, three being closest more to the ground and has more um, barefoot type feel. But five is a good starting point if you're not really familiar with the freeze. It actually provides a very nice uh, uh, feel than other shoes that are a little more stiff on the sole. But if we look at the uh, forefront part of the shoe, you know, they're, they're kind of going there. You can actually see it here. You kind of have these and apply bands going across the forefront for support. And, and one thing's nice about this, it's very breathable. You can kind of take a look as it runs along the midsection of the shoe. Um, the different bands creates a lot of breathing for a high percentage portion of the shoe. If you look there, there's kind of the uh, Volt Nike swoosh. And you kind of finish on the side here with some uh, leather. So that's very nice as well. The, uh, the, the soles of the shoe kind of come with a kind of a two density uh, midsole, kind of got the pylon midsole and the diamond FLX. Of course the, the most notable feature which you will always know it's free is um, these these grooves, the flex grooves and of course that will gives it the most kind of flexibility like the bare foot. And if we look at the, uh, the outsole of the shoe which is actually kind of a little departure, major departure from the other types of freeze. You know, the other freeze are kind of this more block type design on the bottom. This one kind of uses kind of like a, you know, kind of a diamond flex outsole. Kind of gives you more kind of multi-directional type of uh, feel. I guess you're going left to right. The more just a forward motion when you're, when you're running. So if we take, let's take a look at the, you know, so it's actually very deep. It's one of the deepest soles in terms of where, uh, you know, reaches the, the foot. So that's one noticeable feature, and you see those, those traction points in the front, front portion and sides of the shoe. Let's take a look at the front portion of this. It's actually quite different. Actually, this is a little bit different off color. It's almost like a guacamole type color in the front with the padding there. As we go to the back of the shoe, like you said, there we go with the five in the middle and kind of those uh, circles there for traction. So a little departure from the design as well. And we look to like this, the, the back heel of the shoe. The one the thing they were trying to do here is kind of make a kind of you know kind of shape like the heel on the back to give it that uh, natural support in the back. Take a look at the rear. Of course, we got the pull-up tab, which you, which you're going to need. And I'm actually glad they put this in here because you're, it's really going to be hard for shoe to fit in if you don't have that. But one thing uh, important to know if you're actually going to try the shoe out is actually one I would recommend you to go in a store and try out. Um, before you decide to buy, if you're going to buy online. So one thing about it, if you look here, it's kind of, um, you know, the tongue's attached here to the shoe. So it's not like a regular tongue where it can flex out with the laces. So it's almost like a unibody construction, like a car. It's all kind of meshed into, uh, molded into one piece here. So this is actually, we're going to give you a very uh, secure lockdown in the foot, having this uh, kind of this tongue attached as one piece. You can almost say it's almost like a slip-on. But with that being said though, the fit of the shoe is very um, unique that um, if you're actually wearing socks um, and actually thick socks, you may find the shoe uh, very tight and actually may press against you here on the top portion of the shoe. So if that does happen, um, 
when you're in the store trying it out. I would definitely recommend to see how it feels with a very thin sock. And sometimes it's very hard to find a thin sock. I did find some that there's this kind of this Nike running type sock that's very thin, like almost like a pantyhose thin type sock. But actually, if you want to wear it barefoot too, I would try it too. And you're actually going to feel difference with, with the sock on and off, again, if your foot is a little larger than normal. But if actually, if, if you're going to wear it and you're going to wear it barefoot, um, which actually it's, it's a nice feel because it's kind of that uh, slip-on type feel, um, it's actually not a smooth transition all the way throughout, as I noticed. Um, it's still very comfortable barefoot, but in the very por top portion of the shoe where they uh, kind of you know, stitched up the uh, forefront to the tongue. You, you do feel this kind of this, um, the part where it changes right here in the front. And sometimes um, I did notice that kind of hits against the skin of your top part of your shoe. So you may feel that. So you may think about getting a thin sock as well. If we look at the, uh, the kind of the tongue here, kind of the leather, and if they, they go with here, what they call, I guess, the dynamic harness lacing system. Actually, this looping system is very reminiscent like the, the Jordan 10 model. But what they do here, um, and it's actually not like, uh, well, it's not dynamic flower, but it kind of provides the same type of purpose as well. But these, uh, these group points here where the, where the shoelaces come up, when you pull on it, you know, it pulls up the shoe. So you're gonna, it's going to be going to lock you down, lock you down where the shoelaces are. So that's kind of nice. Like I said, not dynamic flower, but a very good uh, alternative as well. Go to the top, we have the Nike Free Trainer logo there. And we just look at the size of the shoe. And of course, you get that uh, the band's going across. Take a close look. They're very breathable. Okay, guys, just kind of wrap up. So this is the training shoe of the free model lineup, and just kind of different from uh, different type of training shoes, which they're a little more bulky and stiff. So you got to think about that if this is the right type of training shoe for you, depending on your needs. Like I said, it's very flexible, uh, left or right or up or down. So something to think about. In terms of price range, this kind of goes from $99 and the premium models, which is kind of the higher end models, like uh, kind of the paid in full version, which I really like, uh, the NFL Draft one, uh, goes up to around $109. But look for coupon codes, which you can never get this less. It was actually a tax-free weekend here in Texas, so I thought this was a good pickup. They actually marked this down to $69.99, $69. .99, $69. With no taxes, so I think it was a great time for me to pick it up. I was looking to get one of these shoes, so definitely at that price point, being way thirty dollars off, I thought, hey, uh, good point to jump on it. So uh, let me do you guys think. Subscribe, like, and uh, thanks for watching today, guys.